Hey everyone. What do we got here? We've got one of our little door simulators from Red Team Alliance classes. And if I were to grab this little RF field detector, which is a very cool product, if you're not familiar with it, the crew at Prox Grind, Iceman, and all those cats, uh, they uh, have been making this for a while. And you can see it's got antennas built right into the PCB here. Very cool multi-layer PCB. But these antennas, they're not powering, uh, you know, waking up a credential chip. They're just driving LEDs. So I use this all the time, and I was using this quite a lot, frankly, at uh, ISC West, checking different readers and technology. Oh, what kind of credential technology do you support, high or low frequency? In this case, this is a multi-technology reader, and it supports both. But what's interesting in this video is that we're actually going to look at it in terms of distance out here. And if you can kind of see, hopefully you'll be able to catch where the LEDs start to light up. You can see high frequency, of course, a little more energy is going to catch first. And then we've got our low frequency as well. And the closer we get, the brighter they get because they're getting more power. So this is a very rudimentary way of checking out power output and read range potentially from a given antenna coil. But if we wanted to extend that range, what do we have here? Yeah, so this was sent to me. And this is an example of something called a tank circuit. Uh, very, very simple design. We'll talk about it a little bit more. I can link down below to comments from people smarter than I am. It is essentially a repeater, a little booster repeater. And before, you know, we could see we were getting our light just barely here, right about here. I'm out of range. That light is not lighting up. If I bring this guy in. Wow. Super bright. In fact, let's see how far out I can push it. About to here. Maybe a little more right about on the edge of it there. And as you can kind of imagine, if this is a relaying circuit, and now we're completely off, if this is relaying energy, being closer to one or another is not as helpful as being dead in the middle. I'm gonna get just a little closer so you can see that light a little better. So very, very good relaying action. Up here, not so much. Back here, not so much. It's like if you're catching an, you know, a ball. If you've got someone in between you who's gonna help you throw it a longer distance, you want that person as close to the middle as, as the destination can be. Now, would that work with something like a credential? Well, let's see that in action. How close can we be here? All right, we've got a read there. Again, if we're holding it in the wrong plane, credentials have a very, very hard time. So I'm trying to keep this close as I can to parallel and still let you see the distances involved. So yeah, we're, we're at about two inches plus a, plus a blonde one over here. But if I put the tank circuit in the middle again, there we go, basically doubling that distance. So why would this be useful to any of us who have you know, credentials if I've got, maybe you say, oh, I got a prox mark in your pocket, and then you could put this in the way, and you could uh, get someone's credential a little bit uh, further away. Uh, uh, sure, okay, fine. I guess if you have a bag and the prox mark or your antenna is just not quite at the edge of the bag, but you have this on the very outer pocket edge of the bag, maybe, maybe you could do that. But what this was designed to do is actually help people with embedded credentials get a pretty solid read. So will this even read my hand from here? Not reliably. But if I bring this guy in, I can at least get a read out of my hand this is, of course, of those of you who may, may already know this about me. Uh, of course, I have these subdermals, as does my wife. Many people in my life do. So that's a pretty neat concept. Breaking news. I have updates. So Hamspiced, the creator of these tank circuits that I first played with, sent me some new ones to check out. Uh, they're the smaller form factor. We were playing a lot with this in the lab, trying to you know get the best performance out of it. And he sent me some additional versions of it. In, including, these are these are really cool, we also have some little flex circuits. So look at this, yeah. These are the same exact tank circuit, you can kind of catch that on camera there, but in a, you know, a much more durable, flexible form factor. And if I didn't mention it earlier, part of, part of Hamspice's ideas with this project was not exclusively, you know, like boosting the signal with a, with a credential, so here we have an I-Class DL, I-Class being a high frequency credential. They can be a little temperamental with read range. So where are we about, about here? Uh, we can see that his tank circuits, of course, can just about double that, which is pretty nice because normally, let's move that away, we would never be able to get any kind of read range in this department. But it's not just for traditional, you know, boopy card credentials. 
Uh, if I didn't mention it earlier, this is to help out with embeddables. So my high frequency credential, you can see I can rub this with my fist right on the reader. I'm not going to get anything. If I take one of these little tank circuits, in fact, I'll just use the flex credential here. If I put that on the reader, there we go. Obviously, I'm not enrolled in our door simulator here, but that's much, much better than trying to play this game for 20 minutes, crossing your fingers, spin around, tap three times. So you can see, with a little bit of a helping hand, boom, there we go. And helping hand is kind of a fun thing to, uh, to talk about here because uh, we were, again, we were playing with these in our lab as soon as Ham Spice had sent them over. And our team, Bobak, was really interested. Hamsa, who works with us, was really interested. So we literally have the helping hand now. And in fact, you know, Bobak made a circuit, you know, board like that. He was working on this too. Uh, this is this is the same idea. So we were playing with these. These might show up in some of our workshops. I wonder if I can read my hand with the helping hand. It's again, it's all about antenna sizes, right? So the coil in my hand is not going to work with uh, something this size. But if we go back to our I-Class credential, there's our, let me see, you can see our light from there. There's our read range, pretty good to about here. But if I move it back out a little further, almost doubling the distance, not going to work until we come in with the helping hand and get a good read. And likewise, the core group, uh, you know, discus of duplication of distance, that'll also work. So there you go. Tank circuits. I believe uh, Hamspice, the creator of the first one, is still working on this project. Um, his GitHub, again, I said I'm going to drop that down below. If you're interested in any of these, especially the little, I love the little flex print ones, man. Those are those are pretty dope. Uh, obviously, you could reach out to them. I think that they're also active on the Dangerous Things forum, but since I have a few of them, and since I will be at B-Sides, I'll be at B-Sides Raleigh, I am maybe going to do a talk about some RFID things and some implantable things. There's, there's a whole idea I've got cooking here. I don't know if I'll have the time and the ability to get it together, but if I do, uh, you can learn a lot more about this from me and you can get your hands on some of these things. You can, I'm just gonna be giving these out. I'm going to be giving out a number of interesting RFID things if everything, fingers crossed, that I wanna do comes together. So yeah. The, the core discus, the helping hand, if you're interested in playing with these or other credentialing technologies, boop, long ass distance there, come find me, come find me online, come, you know, links are in all the places and stuff, but I think this is a really cool concept. Thank you again to Hamspiced for reaching out, letting me toy with this, and thank you for the rest of my team for getting inspired to to make some really, uh, yeah, if you don't know Hamsa, one of our friends who was there, he was at the big Red Team Rush event and everything in Vegas with us. He, Hamsa is a very brilliant and dangerous individual who shows up a lot in our work and in our field. Uh, if you don't know that cat, well, I would encourage you to find them, although they're a pretty hard person to find online. I'm not hard to find online. Again, uh, all the places, all the things, if you want to learn about RFID stuff from me or from anyone else, Come ask a question or ask a question down below or find me online. Either way, I hope that you stay safe out there.